public art is shown in the context of complete democracy. There is full access, and that can be very liberating as an experience for a viewer to not have to cross a threshold of an institution to be able to view a work of world-class art. My name is Brooke Kamen Rappaport, class of 1984. I am the director and Martin Friedman Senior Curator of Mad Square Art, which is the commissioned program of contemporary uh, public sculpture in Madison Square Park. Right now on view is a project by Martin Purrier. It's called Big Bling. It's a 40 foot tall construction of plywood and chain link fence. And at the top of the work near the pinnacle of the sculpture is a gold leaf shackle. Martin Purrier is a venerable American artist. He is extraordinary and he's an artist's artist. We have 60,000 visitors a day who cross Madison Square Park. It's almost a contract with the public that we show extraordinary works of contemporary art for free. And they are often provoked and inspired and challenged and very moved by the work that, that we show. I was a contemporary art curator at the Brooklyn Museum for many years. When you create a museum exhibition, you do it completely behind closed doors. You uncrate paintings, you uncrate sculpture, you have art handlers. The whole process that was once behind the scenes is now completely open and available for the public and for complete viewing. Because it's not a mystery how things are built, how artists realize work, it's an opportunity. When I was at Amherst, a keystone of what was then called the Fine Arts Department was working with the artist professors. That's where we were nurtured and where we found our scholarly sustenance was through the artists who taught. I think of Bob Sweeney's class. He is a painter of landscapes and he often paints images of the Amherst setting, the Amherst scene. But Bob also, before every painting class, he would give us an art history lecture on modern and contemporary artists. Having that grounding, having an artist like Bob Sweeney lead you through what he saw in his mind's eye as a painter, that was enormously significant um, as a burgeoning art historian. What Amherst caused us to do is to look very closely at things in our environment, at works of art in our environment, and to analyze them um, and to interpret them. And I think that that's what those of us who've come to this field, who've come to the art history field, the museum work, to the gallery world, that's the gift that Amherst gave us, is in that ability to analyze and then to interpret back to the public.